Hi, I'm Tori Hashka and I write eattori.com. Uh, I guess Eat Tori in a nutshell is about scouring the world for some of the best ways to eat, drink and be merry. And Christmas is a perfect time for that. So today I'm going to be making some dishes with Brussels sprouts. Uh, Brussels sprouts have got a pretty bad reputation. So what I'm going to try and do is give Brussels sprouts a little bit of a makeover. So, roasted sprouts. It might sound a little left of field, but really, roasted sprouts work the same way as roasting other brassicas. So I'm going to cut them in half and put them into roast. You want an oven on at about 200 Celsius, and then I'm going to put some salt over the top of them, and then I'm going to drizzle them with a bit of olive oil. Probably about mm, two tablespoons or so of olive oil, and what I've got here is probably about 300 grams of sprouts, 300, 400 grams. So, in they go into the oven. and they should stay there probably for about 25 to 35 minutes. It's pretty flexible, so check on them. You want them to be burnished on the outside, but soft in the middle. Now we're gonna move over here, and we're gonna to go to some raw sprouts. Raw Brussels sprouts may sound a bit strange, but the first thing that we wanna do is add some complementary flavors. So, one of the things that makes most things in the world taste good is bacon. So what I've got here is about 100 grams of lardons. You can get lardons at most supermarkets these days. So, I'm just going to put them in on a medium heat and let them crisp and let the fat render out of it. So I want the fat to leach out and then you just want to mind fingers very slowly and carefully because nobody needs injuries at Christmas. Shave the sprouts here. What this does is gives a nice relief from some of the really rich meats that you'll have on a Christmas table. It's something that can be done ahead of time and stored in the fridge and of course if you had the space in your kitchen and the tech, you could save a lot of time by doing this on a food processor. It's probably enough to give you a bit of an idea. What you really want to do at this point is add a little bit of sweetness and a bit of moisture to it. And I find one of the nicest ways to do that is with an apple. Just use some gumption and grate your apple in. Off it comes. I'm just going to get some paper towel and drain off those bits of lardon to help them crisp even further. Okay. Now in the bottom of this pan, there is nothing but flavour. So we're going to pimp it a little bit further. Uh, I'm going to add some Dijon mustard. Uh, Dijon mustard is there for sort of a sprightly kick. Then we're going to add a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. So we're just stirring that all in together. And then a little hit of maple syrup. Because if the Canadians have taught us anything, it's that pork and maple syrup are very good friends. We're going to let that cool just slightly. And then the last thing that we want to do is add in some hazelnuts. What I've done earlier is taken about 80 grams of hazelnuts and I've toasted them in a dry frying pan and then put them in some kitchen paper and just give them a little rub. And most of the skins should slowly shirk away from the nuts. Don't worry if not all of them do. There's plenty of flavour in the skins, but it's also nice to have a bit of textural contrast. Pull them off and then just give them a really rough chop. So, nuts go in. A few more from earlier. A couple of good handfuls. And then if you want to turn the volume up on the richness of it, beyond the pork fat, you can always add a little bit of finely grated parmesan cheese. It's nice in the slaw, but where the parmesan cheese really comes into its own is just flaked over the top of the roasted sprouts because that'll give it a really silky nuttiness. Just give that a bit of a stir. It's a bit rough and tumble. If your bacon is in long cubes, Give it a bit more of a chop so everybody gets some. Okay, bacon in. Final test of the dressing. It's pretty good. And then
So that is Brussels sprout slaw.